Hi, good morning. Let me just open the lights at the back. Then I'll just grab some coffee. Then let's talk about lenses. Alright, I'm just waiting for my coffee to boil. I open the lampshade at the back. I know it doesn't make a lot of difference, but for me, it, it matters when your backdrop has sufficient amount of lighting. It's funny how you can program people. So the next time you'll watch another video of mine and that lampshade is not turned on, I promise you'll notice it. Alright, my coffee is ready. This is my favorite mug and I'll just sip a few coffee. Then let's start talking about those lenses. If you are looking at a Canon EFM lens line and you're thinking of a lens that you want to use for your YouTube videos, I think the two lenses that really stands out is the 11 to 22 mil and the 22 mil. Now, the ultimate question you have to ask yourself to figure out what lens to get between those two is what matters to you the most. Is it the ultra wide angle look which most YouTubers use when they are vlogging? Or a prime lens that has a low aperture and gives you a crisp, sharp image. Both lenses are STM lenses, meaning they don't produce a lot of noise when they're switching focus. The 11 to 22 mm has image stabilization, while the 22 does not have. But for me, what I'm really looking for is a B lens for my B roll videos. I'm contented with how wide this kit lens can go. It can go up to 15 mm, which is wide enough for me. And it also has its image stabilization, which is good for a run and gun vlogging. What I lack is a lens that produces sharper videos, shallower depth of field, and a lens that can handle low lighting conditions. That is why I go with the 22 mm. Let me just get the 22 mm and let's put it to the test. Alright, I'm now using the 22mm. If you could see in the frame, it's more tight. So let me just fix it. Okay, we're now back in frame. I use this 22mm when I'm talking to my camera like this. When I'm in a stationary position because it gives that depth of field. And I also use this for my B-roll clips. I also use this lens, the 22mm, in a dark lighting condition. So let's try it out. Let's go to a darker place here in our house and let's test it against the kit lens. Alright, this is the 22mm. I'll dictate the setting that I used. I use a shutter speed of 1 over 50, an aperture of f2, and an ISO of 2000. So now let's use the kit lens. I'm now using the kit lens. You could see it's now wider. I'm now using a 15mm focal length. Now, let me dictate the settings that I use. My shutter speed is at 1 over 50. My aperture is at f3.5. My ISO is 4000. So I hope there's not noisy or grainy. So yeah, let's go back. If you think about it, the 22mm serves a lot of purpose but the only thing I don't use it for is for handheld vlogging because it's too tight that my face consumes most of the frame and I don't like that style. Just a reminder before I end this video, I'm using a Canon M50 which is an APS-C camera meaning it has a smaller sensor compared to a full frame camera. Thus produce a 1.6x crop factor to the lens it currently uses. So if I'm currently using a 22mm, its equivalent focal length in the real world is a 35mm lens. Alright, I hope that doesn't confuse you. See you on the next videos. I'm out. Bye!